Welcome to the 2024 novelties from Matlin. We have put together a colorful array for you. Please note that all of the models shown are hand samples. There was once a steam locomotive that traveled all over Germany, mostly with passenger trains due to its high number of 776 units. It was a real workhorse. Märklin fans will certainly know which model we are talking about here. Ja, dieses Jahr haben wir natürlich äh, tolle kleine Dampflokomotive, die Neukonstruktion der Baureihe 86. This year we have a great little steam locomotive, the new design of the class 86. This is a well-known locomotive at Märklin if you go back in history. We already built the class 86 at the beginning of the 1950s as the TT 800. There was a completely new model in the 1970s. Everyone knows the 3096, and now in 2024 we are coming back with a completely new design. There's nothing left of the old model. It's a completely new design. Da ist also nichts mehr vom alten Modell vorhanden. Das ist wirklich eine absolute Neukonstruktion für uns. You can see it in the CAD representation. The view through the driver's cab is unobstructed. The buffer height corresponds to the NEM. And here we see the water tank, which already exists as a molded part. For the first time there will be a version with welded water containers, which also have a large cutout. It is a locomotive in the longer version, 10 cm longer in the prototype than in the first prototype versions. The wheel flanges are naturally kept low, so that the locomotive looks really impressive as a result. A wonderful sight. This new 86 will also appear in the Trix Havo program. Germany was not the only country to have beautiful steam locomotives. Sweden also knew how to build them too. The F1200 series is now being released as an half o novelty with all the necessary changes. Unser Vorbild für das Modell hat eine bewegte Geschichte. Our prototype for the model has an eventful history. The locomotive was built in Sweden in 1914, then sold to Denmark, rebuilt there, later transferred back and rebuilt again for Sweden between 1964 and 1965. And now it is in the Railroad Museum in Gävle. This is our F1200. The model depicts the condition around 2018 and shines with a highly detailed realization and a fine technical interior. A smoke unit is installed at the factory. This model will also be available from Trix. The sight of the pretty Königssee long distance express train inspires us all to travel. I wonder why that might be. Many people simply associate the Königssee with vacation time, because that was the train that took people from the big cities to the vacation areas of Bavaria, Allgäu and Austria. That's why everyone associates positive things and vacation with this train. There was a second class BPMZ, a first class AVMZ carriage and then, very importantly, there was always a dining car. This is the partially redesigned ARMZ211, which has a decoder on board. Another eye-catcher is the children's car. In the prototype, it was mostly families who traveled with the train. All carriages are equipped X-Works with LED interior lighting and a buffer tank. This means that even short periods without power are covered without flickering. As is now standard for us, the interior design is multicolored. A nice highlight is the children's car. We have created a completely new interior for it. Where there used to be a slide and toy box, we have now created a prototypical design. The result is a nice splash of color in this train. While some are already bathing, others are still traveling to their vacation destination. The 120.1 has pantographs that can be raised and lowered and other digital functions. The Königssee car fleet is a one-time addition and consists of four items.
It is also rolling into the Trixavo program. The cars are on a scale of 1 to 93.5. The Metropolitan appealed to a different audience. Business travelers who wanted to travel in luxury. The silver-colored outfit of the train was a perfect match. It also makes the 101 look very elegant. The train set contains seven cars that are connected with a four-pin coupler. All of the cars are in 1 to 87 scale. Dimmable indirect interior lighting with buffer storage and a multicolored interior make the train something very special. All four axles on the 101 are powered. There is a switchover between the control car and the locomotive. The Desiro HC has been completely redesigned by Märklin and Trix in two versions each. One in DB Regio Red and the other one in the white and yellow design for the state of Baden-Württemberg. The end car A contains the motor. In addition to the finely detailed roof equipment, the raising and lowering retractable pantographs are impressive. Thanks to the built-in buffer tank, the interior lighting is flicker-free. The multicolored interior is a delight. A chic train that not only looks good in the prototype, but will soon also please Märklin and Trix fans. The popular classics assortment is enriched by the cult locomotive 103-152. Three TEE cars appear to go with this locomotive and can be used to put together a wonderful train that will make the hearts of Märklin and Trix fans beat faster. The buffer height of the short 103 now also corresponds to the NEM. Traveling on the railway couldn't be more beautiful, could it? Not only people travel by train, but freight has need to be moved as well. In the early 1970s, the Deutsche Bundesbahn had an elegant-looking engine created for this reason. The six-axle class 151 electric locomotive was a real powerhouse on German rails. We produced a model of this type of locomotive back when it was brand new in the mid-1970s. Now it is simply no longer quite up to date. So what could have been more obvious than to reinvent this workhorse and equip it with fine digital functions? These include roof-mounted pantographs that can be raised and lowered. 170 vehicles were built, which were initially painted chrome oxide green. They hauled mixed freight, but often also long block trains for the coal and steel industry. Wir haben uns dazu entschieden, die Lokomotive von Grund auf komplett neu zu konstruieren. We decided to completely redesign the engine. Nothing was taken from the old locomotive. The girder is made of metal and, of course, the body as well. We have implemented all the details, the bedding and engravings like on the prototype. There are many details in the roof area in particular. One highlight is the completely newly developed DBS 54 roof pantographs, which are very finely executed. And the fact that the pantograph only stands on the four insulators creates a particularly beautiful picture. So if you look at it from the side, you can enjoy a fantastic view, really beautiful. Schaut, hat man wunderbaren Durchblick durch den Stromabnehmer. Das gibt einfach ein wunderbares Bild ab. What is also nice is the engine's interior lighting, which is truly special. On the class 151 it is the startup light. Not a lot of people know that the locomotives built in the early 1970s were still equipped with startup lights. We have therefore also included this digitally switchable feature in the locomotive. It helps engineers at night or in poor visibility conditions to see whether their train is stationary or has already picked up speed. Since Märklin and Trix always think in terms of trains as much as possible, the four-axle TELS 968 is a completely new type of car that matches the 151. 
Maclean offers 24 hinged roof cars with different road numbers, while Trix offers 12 cars. This makes it possible to form a particularly long unit train. All of the models are also available individually from your dealer. The locomotive and cars have a buffer height in accordance with the NEM. A great eye-catcher on any half-hour layout. When selecting the Insider and Trix Club models, Maclean always attaches great importance to their perfect appearance. They are often true legends of the railroad. The Northlander is certainly one of them. This new development in metal creates a lot of growing enthusiasm, especially when the train starts moving gently and glides elegantly over the tracks. Richly equipped with digital functions, this model leaves nothing to be desired. Yeah, the Northlander, that is naturally an icon by Märklin. Uh, yes, the Northlander is already an icon at Märklin. It has already been produced twice, in an earlier version as a four-car unit, as it ran back in 1978. Then we had another version with an F7 as the locomotive. And now we have a new design based on our Ram TEE, which we reissued a few years ago, but now with the technical modifications that the prototype required when it was sold from Europe to Canada and then used there. I'm looking forward to it because it's so refreshingly different. Also because of its appearance with the blue and yellow color scheme. It looks good on any layout. This also applies to the 193008. It is the club model for fans of N-Scale. All six axles are driven. As the body hoods are made of metal-filled plastic and thus ensure that the locomotive has a decent weight, its hauling power is appropriate for a freight locomotive. Thanks to the built-in digital decoder that is compatible with both MFX and DCC, many light and sound functions are available. The model reproduces the operating condition around 1980. There will also be a very special model for all Zetis, the Pig Snout. Here is the first hand sample. The order deadline for all club models is February the 29th, 2024, which you should definitely not miss. Once it was brown-covered freight wagons, today it is colorful semi-truck trailers and containers loaded on special cars that characterize the image of the freight railroad. With the completely newly developed half -O models, Göppingen now offers very up-to-date vehicles. A common car is the T3000E double pocket wagon or articulated double pocket wagon, which we are now announcing as a completely new design in metal in three different versions. These are the versions from MFD Rail, DB Cargo and Wascosa. All of the cars have an attractive load X works. Some models are also available from Trix, of course with different road numbers. The differences in design in the joint area are detailed. The support frame can be mounted in two positions, depending on the load. The number of side folding latches fitted X works is true to the original. All three cars can be found in many European countries in the original form. The thoroughbred LKW water trains, usually pulled by a Vectron, are particularly beautiful. And this is another new design. Transporting mail and luggage was part of everyday life on the railroads at the time. The German Federal Post Office procured around 685 railroad mail cars. They were their property and were operated by the Deutsche Bundesbahn. We now have a new construction on a scale of 1 to 93.5. It is a railroad mail car of the type Post MRA in operating condition around 1978. This model is also being released by Trix. 
This also applies to this locomotive version, which is rolling into the new items program as Class 220. It has five cars with double stakes in tow, loaded with real wood, still one of the most common loads on the railroad. These cars appear as a set at Märklin. Specialist dealers are happy to exchange the axles for Trix fans. The Tiger Drum made it into the Deutsche Bahn AG fleet after reunification. Our model shows the condition around 1994, shortly before it was taken out of service. This is a shape variant of our new design. We have vertical fan blades on the fan grills on the side, but the most striking difference can be seen in the roof area. The prototype for our model has a Soviet-style noise muffler on the roof. Another version of the Vectrum Dual Mode will soon be an exclusive addition to the Märklin and Trix assortment. The vehicle in 2023 operating condition will be used primarily in construction train service. The Railroad Construction Group train set goes very well with this theme. It includes a Class 335 small diesel locomotive with a closed cap. This cute locomotive has the new telex coupler at both ends, which allows for great shunting maneuvers as they occur all the time on construction sites. The set also includes a stake car, Res 687, an FCS 092 side end loader car loaded with a real ballast insert and a workshop car. Like the locomotive, the latter two models stand out with their golden yellow paint scheme. Retro is all the rage, the reasons for which may be complex, but it goes without saying that the old shapes are being brought out again when fans of the classics of yesteryear show their enthusiasm. The E44 is being released for the first time in a blue-gray basic color scheme. It has an MFX decoder on board, and the Car Wendel Express can be wonderfully recreated with the four attractive tin plate cars. Just before Christmas, Märklin surprised collectors with a model that was never built as a series. The year was 1936 and the CCS 700, a crocodile in half-o scale, remained a prototype. And now, generations later, it is on the track. Visually very similar to the prototype, equipped with a decoder and ready to run. The pantographs are lovingly reproduced from sheet metal. Und wir haben mittlerweile doch sehr viele Kunden, die auch diese alten Fahrzeuge genießen, die dann eben sagen, ja, We now have a lot of customers who also enjoy these old vehicles and remember a bit of their childhood, as it might have been with their father or grandfather. These old, beautiful, even massive models, these heavy cast models and the tin wagons. It is, of course, a very special sound when you have a train like this running on the layout, preferably on metal tracks. The 21 cm long model is made of die-cast zinc. And yes, it actually runs, not just on metal tracks. We are traveling with the Allgäu Zollern Express over the Alps and having a ball. These are the familiar four-axle rebuilds in a chrome oxide green color scheme with light green stripes. At that time, the neighboring communities and towns came up with something special for the railroad line from Tübingen via Sigmaringen to Memmingen, because they wanted to counteract the dying of railroads in the 1980s. They put together this composition and traveled over the Alp at the speed of an express train. It is being hauled by a 215, which is appearing for the first time at Minitrix in the ocean blue ivory color scheme. Another locomotive in ocean blue ivory now enters the scene. 
meiner Generation aus dieser Zeit. In my generation, we loved this color scheme even back then. But the older ones, of course, how can I put it, mourned wistfully for their steam trades and didn't like the color scheme so much. But nowadays, it's super popular. Aber in der heutigen Zeit ist es mega beliebt. Not all 150s were exactly alike. Die 150 the 150 071, the classic freight locomotive which we are recreating in the condition around 1978, has a special feature, double lamps on both sides, but different handlebars. It fits in well with the 50 years of Ocean Blue Ivory anniversary. Seen in the light of day, this color scheme looked really good on the 150 series, don't you think? This elegant machine is much faster on the road. Today it is used for transfer journeys or as a draught horse for an extraordinary vehicle, the Luxon Panorama car. This is a luxury car and of course the already legendary 103-222 from Rail Adventure goes very well with it. Private individuals can hire this train and embark on a culinary journey wherever they want to go in Europe, because this train combination is licensed throughout most of Europe. On the 103-222, the roof pantographs can be raised and lowered digitally, and the car has interior lighting. The largest operational, most powerful locomotive in the world at the moment. And we are making it in one gauge, the big boy at full speed. A fascinating sight that leaves you nearly speechless. And the same goes for the model. The half version was already great, but this engine now exceeds all expectations. Visually and technically a masterpiece of model making. It reflects the original condition around 2019. It's going to be a real giant. It is 1 meter and 26.5 centimeters long and will weigh around 15.5 kilos, which is already reduced by our standards. It would actually be even heavier. For weight reasons, we used a combination of die-cast zinc and aluminum. The entire boiler is made of aluminum for the first time. The first two hand samples made from molded parts are already in quality control in Göppingen. In addition to zinc die-cast parts and the aluminum boiler, there are many details made of brass. The equipment with digital steam, light and sound functions, which can be enjoyed not only on the layout, is extremely lavish. I assume that most of the locomotives will be on display, and there is also a functional display case adapted to the model. To get you in the mood for the one-gauge counterpart, here is the large prototype in action as an operational museum locomotive that is sure to generate a lot of enthusiasm. Among other things, two electric locomotives stand out in the novelty program from LGB. Both are at home in the Swiss mountains and represent highlights of locomotive construction on a narrow gauge. We have consistently had the Glacier Express theme in recent years. It is very popular, both in the original and in the model. So we decided to go beyond Descentis and bring the HGE442 from the Matterhorn Gotthard Railway as a completely new construction, naturally with a functioning cogwheel engine. And here we have done something special. Whereas previously the driving cogwheel was only firmly pressed onto the driving axle, which led to slippage and friction losses, we we now have a differential gearbox that drives the driving wheels and driving cogwheels separately, where no slippage occurs, which ensures that the locomotive runs absolutely smoothly. This not only applies to operation on cogwheel sections. 
Four matching Glacier Express carriages are being reissued in the assortment. Now we come to the RHB and Wir reden über eine Lok, die das zarte Alter von 110 Jahren erreicht hat. We are talking about a locomotive that has reached the tender age of 110 years, still works today and is still popular. I quote an engineer who once said, you just have to grease it well and it will run. It has no electronics apart from the radio. This is the GE46 built in 1914. It has a few nice gags, it has a digital decoder with sound of course, working pantographs and a few other things that I don't want to reveal in too much detail just yet. They are a first for a model. Just wait for the surprise. Well, let's wait to see what's in store for us. That was a selection from the extensive assortment of novelties from Matlin, Trix and LGB. You can find more information here. Have fun!